Sunday silence broken in the southeast Oklahoma City neighborhood. There's a lady outside screaming. She has a baby with her. By a woman covered in blood, carrying a knife and a toddler. Honestly, when I first looked down the street, I thought somebody went in a high-speed chase. But instead, Oklahoma City police say inside this home, they found another child. A little boy stabbed multiple times. He was dead. She's saying that her husband killed her other child. Honestly, it just hurts me because it's a kid. He couldn't defend it, so. But it's this woman, Corina Romero, who now faces a murder charge. She's believed to be the boy's mother. It's sad any time uh, someone is murdered like this, but it really does shock the conscience when you, you're talking about a child being stabbed to death, uh, a death in, in this manner. When police arrived, Romero stood outside with a two-year-old and a knife. Looks like she may have been beat up, and, but she's still screaming and she still does have that knife. Authorities say she ran back inside after yelling at police. She simply went back into the house and refused to come out. Uh, to make sure the uh, younger child was okay and that nothing else was happening and their officers did force entry into the residence. Officers forced their way inside and found the boy's lifeless body soaked in blood. Residents say their neighborhood will never be the same. I hope the little boy rests in peace and I hope he gets justice for his name because I don't think he deserved the way he went out. In Oklahoma City, Bria Beery, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Bria, thank you. Police were able to get the two-year-old out of the house safely Romero, meanwhile, was booked into jail on a murder complaint. So far, police have not released the name of the child.